Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 494 of Proper Review. Today I'm talking about this. We really unboxed it, didn't we? We unboxed it off on Friday. Well, that's it. That just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have any meaning. Days have no meaning on YouTube and the internet. My Friday could be your Tuesday. My sun Sunday could be a Wednesday. So, the last video. Peel back one, and you'll see me unboxing this. What is it? It's the definitive edition of Tales from Topographic Oceans. Um, if you want to see me do the original um, album review, you know, touch the hand and I'll do a blinky thing. You get to see me in the nud as well. It's very, it's very, it's very sensual and erotic seeing me in the nud, um, you know, in the bath with, with nothing on, in my birthday suit. Yeah, Billy Bollock, Bollock naked, as it were. You'll enjoy that. I know I did. Um, so yeah, this is the definitive edition. This is the Blu-ray one. There's, there is a DVD one. Apparently, there's more content on the Blu-ray one. Um, but yeah. Right, where to begin? Yeah. Should we do stereo mixes? Stereo mixes, they're alright. Okay. I still prefer the remastered ones from 2003, 2004. They got a bit more grunt to them. Oh, but the loudness was then. The, what about the loudness was? That's what I've got a volume button for. Um, but no, seriously, they're all right. I wouldn't, you know, I I, I prefer the, um, like I say, I prefer the, that, that series of remasters that they did way back. I thought they were pretty punchy and good. I know a lot of people don't like them, and they's, they appeal to these ears. I thought they... But, yeah, I mean, Wilson, you know, he does separate areas. There is some separation of stuff. You do hear a little bit more detail. You know, uh, it's all right. It's all right. That's all I've got to say. It's because right. what I came for, I came for the five point one, didn't I? I came for the full surroundy sound experience. And the yes, oh boy, do they pay out in spades this time? They surely do. Um, yeah, this is one of those albums that I thought would lend itself to um to the 5.1 mix a bit like um a bit like um relayer however i think this one has more going for it it is a much maligned album isn't it we even i've maligned it i think it's it is a bit half baked it's like something from the the great british bake off we're gonna we're gonna do that one you know it looks cooked on the outside but in the middle it's a bit soggy and has a soggy bottom nobody wants a soggy bottom um but anyway, um, many of you have said, uh, well, many of you, one of you, <laughs> social media, it makes me feel, feel like I'm so important, you see. Uh, one <laughs> equals many. But one of you said, has it changed your opinion of the album? Nah, it's still half-baked. It's still, you know, it, it, it's an album that needs work. You know, That's not saying, you know, if you enjoy all four sides, good for you. I prefer, you know, the meat and potatoes of one and four. Um, there is a good album in there somewhere, blah, 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 blah. I think I've, I have did it in the other review. You, you know, you know. Um, but what the 5.1 mix does is it separates out every, all the instrumentation so you can hear what's in there. And that's what I've come for. And you hear voices, more voices, you know, voices you may not have noticed that are buried in the stereo mix. Everything is separated and you get a much better feel of the album. And, it, yeah, it's a pleasant experience. It's a... It's. I really liked it. I really, and I listened to it. I listened to it a few times in the surround sound, which is unusual. Um, played to the missus as well. She thought it was good. So that, that, that's a test that's passed. Um, so yeah, for for the for the five point one fans, if you haven't bought it yet, you must. You must. Boy, you must get it. You must. You must. Uh, as for the extra material on here uh, there are some uh, studio run throughs which I think two of them appeared on the previous reissue that's it's great if you want to listen to that yeah, it's, it's all right um, there are some instrumental mixes um, single edits that were that were interesting because they did some single edits of the songs and as you know it's Four slabs of of prog, isn't it? It's, you know, there's there's not there's not much wiggle room for, to release a, a a catchy pop hit, but it, they endeavoured to um, gut and fill it the songs into a single format. And yeah, it's they're, they're there. You can listen to them. 
they're there. You know, it's it's a, it's a curi curiosity, isn't it? It's a bit of a curio, an old curiosity. Um, so that's that. Then you've got the various needle drop versions of the album, which, you know, if I've got, I've got the vinyl anyway, so. Um, so, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting package. Do you need it if you don't like the surround sound and you just want the stereo mix? Here's a sub here we go. Here's a subjective. I say this all the time. I personally think stereo mix is okay. I don't think it's any way definitive, you know, because for that it'd have to be, I don't know, mixed by the band or be approved by. I mean, I don't know how involved the band are in these. Um, this is all done out under license from Atlantic Records, so I imagine they don't get much of a say in the final product. It's just you know. It's all licensed out, so yeah. It's not like some remixes, which you know, like the Genesis ones, which had the Genesis stamp of approval. They they had to be approved by all members uh, before they were released. Um, so I never see, I don't see the the stereo mixes of these albums in, as in any way definitive. They're just you know, they're just you know, a marketing thing. To be put out there, um, but again, you may prefer if you like Wilson's other stereo mixes. They're for you personally. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. They're all right. I could, you know, I, if I didn't, I, I could live without them. It's the five point one that is purely the money shot for me, and I've said this. Through, I've repeated this endlessly. Um, that's it. So again, if you come into this looking for just for the stereo or an upgraded copy, if you have got the money to spend, that's that's your choice personally. I don't know, I think it's 5.1 all the way. Get a 5.1, fucking hell, get a 5.1 system, why don't you? And then you can know what I'm talking about and you can be as enthused as I am about these surround sound mixes. I certainly think of all the Yes ones, this has been the most interesting and fun uh, to listen to. Um, you know, so of all of them so far, I really, I really dug the 5.1 on this, it really... You know, it really did um, scratch that itch, um, and that—that's the where the revelation is. That's where, you know, that's where it is. Yeah, you know, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I had a good weekend with it. Um, you know, it's a fun album. It's not a perfect album, um, but it just for me, it just makes it, you know, just that little bit more fun. It doesn't make it any better for me. But it, you know, but also you do under you can hear it is undercooked because some of those parts, you know, when you hear them separated, you think, uh, you know, some of it does sound a little bit, you know, a little bit sloppy in places, thanks to separation. But you know, it's like it's like slipping on an old pair of slippers, isn't it? You know, you might have an hole in the toe, but you'll for, you'll forgive them, you'll forgive them for it. Anyway, facts to lyrical enough about this release. And um, what rating do I give it? Well, I'm gonna be, oh, look, I'm gonna be. I'm going to be thoroughly, um, I'm going to be kind to it and just give it five little fishies. Is there five fishies there? One, two, three, four, five. There are. There are five fishies. I'm going to give this five fishies out of five. Um, because, again, it's nice to have it in the series. I like the 5.1. If you haven't got any of those other mixes or you can't get hold of the other masterings or your ears prefer these ones, then you're in for a treat. You're in for a good time. But... The 5.1 is the way to go if you want to hear every if you want to look behind the curtain if you want to see what everything how everything is revealed the revealing science of Stephen Wilson and his 5.1 mixes um, so that's that and no he's not a genius anyone can do a 5.1 mix it's easy I did a I did a, a tutorial you even you could do it yeah you you gormless git you there at the back even you could do it it's just a flat flat transfer just does it flat. Um, oh, I'm just being mean now. I'm just being rotten to Stephen we we Weasel, isn't it? Stephen Steve we Weasel. I've I've called that for a long time. I'm such a bitch. I'm such a rotten bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you can get it, get it. Wait for it to come down in price. You know, maybe I don't know. Because it's about it's about twenty three quid, which is a bit, again, a bit excessive. I mean, that is my problem. Is the price? It's a lot of money for just like two discs and a blu-ray really it should be 15 or 17 i'll give them 17.99 it should be but again panjeric 
the home of King Crimson and Declan Colgan. Uh, make it for twenty, push it out for twenty three, which I do think is a bit excessive for a release, you know, like this. I've given it five fishes now, haven't I? So I can't go back on it. I'm kind of fucked. Oh well, you knew I was going to sell this anyway. You, you knew it. <laughs> oh anyway, anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Darren. I've been talking about the definitive release of Tales from Topographic Oceans. By that, they're the yes, and this is the two CD one Blu-ray edition. There's a, there's a DVD one as well, uh, which is in a digi pack. Rather, as this comes in um, like a little mini LP version in a slipcase. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget, give me all your money. Oh, oh, you know I'm an e-beggar. You know I'm one of those cyber fame junkies. Can't get enough of that cyber fame. Put it in my veins. Go on, put it in my veins. Go on. Go on find a vein. Um, there's the Patreon, of course. Um, there's the music. You can do it. There, there's links. There's links. There's links. Look in the links. There's loads of stuff in there. If you want to buy this, I'll put a link in there if you can buy a copy of this. Um, you know, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to thumbs it down if you you really can't stand me. If you hate my guts, I don't mind. <laughs> or give me a shove it right up if you've enjoyed the video. And um, and that's that. I wonder what's next. Will will we get going for the one? Remember, Wilson said, "Oh, there's no more," and we got this. So maybe, maybe there'll be a game for the one, 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 one. And then tomato. Now tomato would be interesting, and of course drama. But who knows? Anyway, I better, I better scoot off. We've had enough of this ugly old mug. There's only one more thing to say, and you know what that is, and that is, prog on.